it has been a while since I've been on camera, I think. I can't remember the last time I recorded, but I got an exciting parcel in the mail, so I thought I would open it on camera and show you what I have. How cool is this? Sandra has her own um, branding on the bubble mailer. So, I don't think I actually mentioned this is from the absolutely wonderful Sandra, my very good friend. I've been dying to get um, an order from her for ages and I finally got it and it has arrived so I'm super excited and I'll get it opened and you can see the goodies that I got. So like I mentioned this is from the lovely Sandra. She's a good friend of mine and her company is Kamwana Designs. And I'll just turn this over and get a peek. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Ooh, so exciting. And of course this is this just scream Sandra the colours. This is gorgeously wrapped, beautiful colours. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there may be a lot of tiny chirping noises in the background. Um, we noticed a little like hole, a little tiny hole in the uh, outside of our um, guttering in on our house, and then we started to hear a lot of chirping, and so we found out that there is a nest. So, husband just had a wee look, and they are nesting in our attic. Thankfully the nest is not above our bedroom, otherwise I think I would probably go mad with the tripping. <laughs> um, but he's blocked it off so that they can't get into the actual attic. So once they've made their way out of the nest, we can block off the hole at the outside so we don't get any more nests. Okay, this a nice little note. So let's see. A nice little logo. I met Sandra, gosh, I didn't even know how long ago it was now, through basically, I think it was through Emily Harvey's Patreon. And we started chatting, um, bonded over being mums trying to run businesses and ever since we've been um, just chatting to one another back and forth and it's nice to have somebody else who's in a similar position so that we can kind of bounce ideas off one another and relate to one another's struggles when we're trying to run a business with kids. Let's see. So we'll see what we've got. mushrooms this is like right up my alley um i don't think i ordered this so this must be one of the freebies but i love it this is definitely something that i will be putting up on my wall i've got lots of artwork that i have saved to put up on the wall to the left of me above my ikea unit and i just haven't gotten around to it yet and this was the main thing that i was going in for so Sandra did a whole um, collection of illustrations for traditional attire from around Africa. And this is the first volume and then um, she made a zine out of it and it is beautiful and I can't wait to, to read all about it so um, I won't show you everything but basically the there is a uh, illustration of the attire and then a little bit of a note on um the like history of it and that kind of thing which is so cool so i can't wait to get reading this now let's see what else I'm trying to remember what else i ordered i tried so so hard to um take the tape off of the tissue as best i could but i couldn't do it i'll try and save these so i can reuse them Mm -hmm. 
these coffee the elixir of gods i couldn't agree more <laughs> it's a lovely bookmark i've got this on the back super lovely quality it feels so buttery smooth and then we have another from the um traditional attire collection so this is a gorgeous die cut sticker So I'll have to find a nice spot for that. Again, really lovely quality. Um, super smooth and sturdy. And we've got a postcard. And then a postcard on the back. I'm not sure if I'll actually use it as a postcard or if I'll just put it up on the wall because it's such a lovely art print. And then there's another sneaky little package here. Sandra, you've spoiled me you're too good okay oh this is lovely this is some of the watercolor work that sandra has is another postcard new orleans louisiana and then postcard on the back there we go now i have so many lovely options of artwork to put up on my walls so that's everything. And again, cannot wait to get stuck into this. If you're interested in getting any of those or having a look at Sandra's work, I will of course pop the links below. There's a Instagram and her shop and she has a YouTube channel as well. So go check her out. And thank you again, Sandra. You are so lovely and wonderful and it's been a pleasure getting to know you and becoming your friend. So, here's the thing, I wasn't going to record this, I've been in a bit of a slump, about five minutes ago I was lying in bed, scrolling on Instagram once again, and then I just got up, not that it was that easy, but I got up, I made myself some snacks and coffee. And I'm here, I bribed, I bribed myself with snacks and a coffee and, and I'm gonna get stuck in. I started my project with the flowers and the fairies and I was so excited. And then somewhere along the line, I kind of derailed and I'm not very excited anymore. And I don't think it's about the project. I think it's just in general, I've been going through a bit of a creative funk and then Easter happened and we were super busy and it was really fun to spend time with family um, but I think the longer break ended up kind of prolonging ignoring the creative block so I think I need to do something about it like right now I feel a little lost so I'm gonna go back over doing things that I started off doing whenever I had a totally different name on this account and uh, just have some fun. So I thought I would take you along with me. I'm getting some freckles from the sun. <laughs> um, this is actually my grandmother's scarf who had impeccable style. Anyway, I am, I'm gonna do a mind map and I'm gonna get it all out on a huge big piece of paper and then see where we go from there. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I've totally lost my train of thought. Okay, so it's occurred to me that I've been searching and searching for some sort of cohesion to my business. What I wanna create, what I wanna offer to people because I don't want to just do stuff for the sake of doing stuff and like that can be fun too but you know I kind of want a purpose and maybe I just need to create what it is I'm looking for so the questions that I have all the time and the things that I need to work on to better improve my life usually that involves things that are to do with like slowing down and being kind of more mindful and I mean that in all 
areas of spectrum of mindfulness from going to therapy, I don't know, like brushing your teeth, having a pamper night, um, taking your meds, you know, the self-care doesn't have to just be lighting a candle and taking a bath, although it is lovely and important if you do enjoy that and it helps to do it. There's a lot of other things too that are involved in that and that can be like daily life stuff, um, keeping on top of your household and since becoming a mum it has become ever more clear to me that that it's something that I need to actively think about and focus on. Maybe not everybody's like this but I have a pretty messy brain fuzzy. I feel like there's like you know if you have like too many t computer tabs open all at one time like that's what my brain is like majority of the time. So I need to help my brain to focus a little bit more on tasks on a regular basis and I think that's where I want to focus everything. I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. But I want to help. I want to do the things that will help me and hope that they also help you. Step one. Big. Massive piece of paper. Step two, get lots of colorful markers. Step three, put all the things in here, down there. Properly talk to the camera, but I actually can't remember when was the last time. Um, I have been doing some planning, and I made up a digital calendar in my iPad. The I sort of took an unintentional break. So the last time was it? The last thing I was working on was the flower fairy art and I still want to do work on that but I don't want to rush it. I was starting to put a little bit of pressure on myself to get it done by like a really quick time period and I would like to spend a little bit more time um, putting effort into it and making it what it is that I want it to be. I don't want to just like throw it out there for the sake of it. Um, so Still working on that but in the meantime there are some other bits that I want to work on to get in to the shop as an update. I am planning to take part in the eHearts market at the end of May so I want to try and get a few new things for the shop by that date. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I did a bit of brainstorming and I'm kind of I, th I think I'm just going to do uh, sticker sheets for this shop update and I was doing some brainstorming and I have one nine different ideas. Now I don't know if I'm going to get them all done by the time that I need to but I've mapped out some ideas and I'm going to get stuck into doing some sketches for those. Um, so I've got I think three weeks so I'm going to do sketching all this week as much sketching as I can and then even if I don't get round to doing all of them fully it means I have some to work on and for the whatever update I do after that so sketching for this week next week I want to do all the line art and colouring so maybe get a bit of line art done this week depending like the sketches aren't going to be like really particular they're going to be quite rough so I might be able to get to the line art at the end of this week and then once then next week comes and I've finished off the colouring and everything then I can start doing test cuts um, prints and do photography and Etsy listings for the uh, market so yeah that's basically the plan for the next couple of weeks and I've been thinking as well about um, more YouTube content and Instagram content and basically my whole like online presence um, 
I kind of have been going back and forth on it. I feel like I'm constantly changing my mind about what I want to do or how I want to move forward with it all. Um, and I think mostly that was kind of partly indecision, partly kind of feeling like I wanted to do a bit of everything. Um, any other kind of creative, crafty people out there will probably get what I mean. Um, and then also partially not really knowing how I wanted to connect the dots between the content that I make and the products that I sell. Because I don't want to just like throw everything out there and be like, hey, buy my stuff all the time. Um, I don't want to like be pushy. Um, and obviously I still want people to buy my things because I need people to buy my things for my business to be a success. Um, but I would like to provide something more than that whenever it comes to like content and YouTube and stuff. So I've been thinking about what it is I want to do. And I sat down the other day and I think I wrote out like 40 ideas <laughs> for videos. Um, probably a lot of it's going to be like uh, journaling and that's like art journaling or bullet journaling. Um, basically any kind of journaling. Um, gonna have a big kind of um, focus on that. Actually like plan out what my videos are going to be about in advance if I can because from previous videos if you've watched any of them you'll know I have a toddler so time is limited and I need to be able to kind of know what I'm doing before I do it otherwise I spend forever trying to figure out and organize myself and then I don't get enough done and then that's a whole spiral of frustration <laughs> um so this plan of doing these sticker sheets. I'm gonna try to work around how I want my content to look to complement the sheets that I'm going to sell um, and make some fun content that match it, hopefully. Anyway, that's the plan. I'm gonna drink some coffee and actually get stuck into doing it and stop blathering on. So I will see you soon. Maybe just because I haven't used my printer in a while. Um, frustrating, but otherwise I am happy with the colours, how these have turned out. So I'm working on, I think I've got four new sticker sheets for um, my next update. And they're all going to be like functional. Um, so things that are going to help with like day to day, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this one is the dental hygiene sticker sheet so you can track like appointments, you can track doing your floss, brush, rinse, um, just reminders, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to see if I can try and cut this out um, to take away the black bits so that I can still attempt to do a test cut and see how it turns out but otherwise pretty happy with it so let's try and get that done. <laughs>
the uh, black marks that were on that that actually cut out pretty well and the colors look really good too slightly less saturated than what I can see on my screen but I quite like a less saturated look my stuff so I'm happy with the, the way that the colors have turned out um, I think this second sheet that was on it maybe is cut slightly off um, but I'll do another test print anyway to see um, just because the first one obviously was a bit messed up with the black ink that had smudged um, but so far this is looking pretty good Hello! Um, I'm not sure where I left off but I am back in the studio today husband has the toddler out for a day out and I am getting into printing and testing everything for my sticker sheets I think I have five designs to do I've already test printed the dentist one I think I already filmed that um, but I've got the other ones to test today and once I get all that done it means I'll have everything I need then to do start doing photography so I can set that up for next week so then I can do all my listings as well um, what else yeah I mean I think that's that's about as much as I've got going so far I need to check my I need to check my stock um, I've already checked my paper stock so I know I've got a good amount of sticker paper um, but I need to check my stock of other supplies just in case there are any orders for anything else in my shop when I do this lunch. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get stuck into it. I've got lots to do and I want to take advantage of having time on my own in the office. So yeah, I will talk to you soon. Hello, I'm back with lots of test prints. Um, I've had such a struggle trying to get the um, the right print for the sentence. So whenever I print it kind of looks blurry and then the cut was like a millimeter off and it was just really bugging me but I finally got it right. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I don't know if it's going to be easy to tell but um, you can tell side by side maybe with these. They're sort of slightly different. If I zoom in maybe. Um, so you can sort of see on one it's a bit blurrier and on the other it's sharper and the colours are better. Um, and I finally managed to get the cut perfect. So I've got these two completely fixed and saved ready for the update so um, I'll just print maybe like a couple of each ready and then it means if I get any orders in um, I have a few in um, and I can always print more I have plenty of paper stock so happy to finally have these done and so then I just need to do a few more fixes so um, I need to fix up the menstruation one because I don't know well, how this happened but I need to fix it a few extra marks there that's made the cut kind of funny so fix that and then on the rest of them which is the bins the dentist ones um, I just have to print them properly and cut them properly so um, I would say I will probably have a second sale at some point soon too because there's quite a few sheets here and I really don't want them to go to waste there's really nothing super wrong with them it's like slightly off cut or just slightly the wrong color um, I even did a test print on some paper rather than vinyl sticker paper um, so I'll put those up in the shop at some point as well at a discounted price uh, for now I'm gonna take this footage off the camera and um, get editing this vlog Hello, editing Nula popping in to finish off this video because I just kind of left it <laughs> on the last bit whenever I was saying about editing, editing it. So um, yeah, I am pretty much fully prepped in terms of like the sticker sheets. Anyway, um, I'm going to cut 
cut out, uh, print and cut some more, but I've got most of them done. Um, so it is now Sunday the 22nd of May, so I've got the rest of the week until the market starts. So I've got um, four, four-ish days to get everything else sorted. So I need to do the Etsy listings and photographs and I think there's a couple other things like newsletter, I need to send out a newsletter. Um, if you're not signed up to my newsletter, I'll put the link for it below. Um, whenever you sign up, you get a 10% discount on the shop, but also I am going to be sending um, an extra um, special surprise to many newsletter people um, for the market. So you want to sign up, then you'll get that on the day. Um, you can't use two discounts at once or anything on Etsy. Um, so I would wait and use the one on the Friday and then you can always use the 10% at another time if you want to. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll show you some of the stickers. I've actually done quite a bit more since the last time I spoke. Um, so I've got the, um, the main stickers done. So you've got bins, the dental hygiene, we've got my period tracker ones, and we've got medication tracker, and then also cleaning stickers as well. And then on top of that I decided to do another colorway of my um, other functional stickers. So we've got uh, weekdays in some colours there. It's basically the colours from the medication sticker sheet because I really loved how they looked so um, that's what these are all based on. So we've got weekdays and then we've got the um, boxes, we've got dates. Um, I think I also have circles and I also have checklists. Let me get one of those to show you. I think there's some in here somewhere. Um, so these ones were slightly off cut, so I won't be putting those ones in the shop, but this is what those ones will look like. Um, I think that might be it. I think there's maybe like 10 sticker sheets in total. Um, I will put my Etsy shop link below and uh, they will be out on the Friday the 27th. Um, so keep an eye out for that. and. Um, I think my next video is hopefully going to be a June plan with me, which I'm hoping I can get filmed next week. I don't know, I've got quite a lot to do, so we'll see if that happens or not. I also want to kind of round up some of my thoughts from like the past um, couple of weeks. Uh, there's sort of back and forth in the vlog, I'm sure you kind of noticed where I was feeling like anxious and I didn't really know the direction I wanted to go and I was just like in this whole phase of creative block burnout or whatever uh, you want to call it but um whenever i did that big uh the big sheet where i like took all my thoughts and put it on um it i think it really helped even though in the moment it was, it was good to get everything out in paper so even though it wasn't immediate um i think doing that helped me clear my brain a bit and then after like that week break where I mentioned I took a little bit of time. Um, I think it was like enough for me to feel like the kickstart again. And whenever I was talking about doing things more focused on the journaling and stuff, that's kind of where this new collection has come from. I'm just, I was focusing a bit more on like functional things um, for journaling. And I do want to still get back into the art side of journaling and making more um, kind of creative um, decorative stickers as well um, but I think working through that kind of process of um, art block it's, it's difficult and it's hard for everybody it's it's a tough thing to, ca to come out of um, and I'm glad that I kind of documented it because looking back I kind of forgot what it was like actually going through it so it's interesting to kind of see what it was that really actually helped me um, and really it was like writing everything out, getting it out of my brain and then actually just taking a break and not feeling guilty about it. So I suggest it highly <laughs> if you're feeling kind of 
unmotivated or in creative burnout at the minute um take a break and don't feel bad about it so yeah that are that that kind of rounds everything up for the week um i I'm excited for the market next week. I will hopefully be going live as well at some point. And um, if you want to kind of keep track of what I'm doing, you can follow me on my Instagram. I will be releasing the newsletter, le letter, like I said. Um, so sign up to that if you haven't already. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.